Welcome again to a new PRISM tutorial. So one of the biggest challenges when you're imaging is the moon, where it's at, when it rises, when it sets, how bright it is. That's very easy to find in PRISM just like anything else. So we'll open our sky chart and we head over to this button over here that looks like a table. It's the ephemeris table. Show ephemeris table, click on it. We need to select a range from when to display the data. So we're gonna go from May 23rd all the way to June 22nd, which is about a month. We're going to select the moon only and press compute. Prism gives us all the data about it from the date, the RA, the declination, the rise, the when it crosses the meridian, when it sets, how long is the night, visibility, darkness, time and twilight. And the moon phases is quite important. This is the last quarter, new moon, first quarter, and so on. So the best time to image for me is around the new moon, about plus or minus a week. That will be on June 3rd for the new moon. On this other graphical representation here, it's easier to visually see when it's a new moon because of this shaded area. This one, the uh, the darkest area is. You can also appreciate the data at the bottom as we're cruising to figure out what these mean and what the data really is saying. You can also do, use this tool for anything else such as planning uh, for planetary imaging. Let's say we want to do the Sun, the Moon and Jupiter. Let's erase this data and press compute. The Moon comes on top then the sun, then all the information about Jupiter. And this can be done with any date range and any of the these items. As usual, PRISM makes it really easy to uh, find all the information in one place. Thank you very much for watching my tutorial videos, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you very much. Have a good day.